come down the stairs and out through the front. Either way, when you get to the grass, you're going to take a left and then go straight across the bridge directly out onto that boat. When you get to the boat, if you can help us out, there are two ramps. If you see that the back ramp is empty, please move forward to that back ramp. The quicker you all get on and into seats using both ramps, the more time you're gonna have on the memorial. So help us out by keeping both those ramps flowing as you get out there, okay? I also wanna make sure you're aware of a couple things you probably already heard of, is that there's no restrooms and we can't send you now. It's gonna be about 45 minutes. We'll get you back to the bathroom as soon as we can. There's also no drinks besides water or food items in here on the boat, on the memorial. Help us to keep these areas clean and free of rodents, birds, and bugs that are attracted by those items. The next thing I need to bring forward is something you probably have not heard. If you have a phone in your hand, in your pocket, in your purse, I'm gonna ask you to pull those phones out and silence them for me. Sitting or switching seats once the boat is in motion. For those voting last at this time, please find a bench that has four or less. Benches can fit a minimum of five people. We cannot go on their way until everybody's seated. Your visit is a time visit, so the faster you guys sit, the more time you'll have at the memorial. I have a few seats all the way to the front. If you can't find a seat in the back, I have a few seats all the way to the front. Probably figured out this bottom picture is what still remains of the Arizona today. 
um, the top two pictures are what she would have looked like in whole morphing order. Um, so you can kind of compare um, as it reflects all the way up. So easiest thing to point out any given day is the base of gun turret three here, this large round breast structure. It can be very difficult to imagine a gun sitting on top of that, but again, that reflects all the way up. So you can see what that looks like here in the top yeah. picture. We are looking at the bottom half of that structure uh, because after the Arizona sunk, they, uh, the Navy repurposed and reused everything that they could from the ship. And that did include three out of four of the guns. They were still functional. So guns two, three, and four were all removed from the ship. Guns three and four ended up on the west and east sides of the island for protection later on in the war. And gun two ended up on board another ship, the USS Nevada. Now, the Nevada had been moored right next to the Arizona the morning of December 7th. Um, she was heavily damaged in the attack, and because of that, one of her guns needed to be replaced along with other equipment, and gun two from the Arizona ended up on the ship. Um, so as you're looking around, we have excellent water clarity today, even with the water moving very quickly. So you can see quite a bit of even the outline of the ship. The buoy over here does mark the front of the ship, and you can see the, the forward structure here kind of right in front of that, even though it is below the water. Um, our back buoy was unfortunately taken in some strong winds that were much worse than this a couple weeks ago, um, so it's not there right now until our divers can replace it. Um, but it's about halfway between this gun turret here and that first mooring key off to the left there. Thank you. 